。啊，我们刚刚啊、呃、在分享约尔书的时候，稍微有提到说主的日子。When we were sharing about the book of Joel, we were talking about the day of the Lord. 啊啊，主的日子近了。That the day of the Lord is near. Oh, 主的日子代表着啊，对这个世界的审判。And that it represented the judgment on this world from the Lord. 啊，主的日子是主耶稣再来，哦啊，要带我们进到那个永生国度的日子。And that the day of the Lord is when our Lord Jesus will bring us into His kingdom. 啊，所以我们不晓得我们对于这个主的日子来到，啊，我们。到底是用什么样的心情啊、哦、来期待、来接受 ？So I don't know what kind of an attitude or heart we anticipate the day of the Lord with. 哦，呃，一般人对于这个啊、哦、所谓的末日啊、哦，啊，通常抱着这个恐惧的心哦，因为啊，觉得这个灾难哦太可怕了。Uh, most people Are afraid of the end of the world because disasters are scary. Oh, ah, I don't know what we think of when we think of the end of the world. So I don't know what it is that we think of when we think of the end of the world. So I don't know what it is that we think of when we think of the end of the world. What do we think of? Oh, we think of the small asteroid hitting the earth. Oh, still the asteroid hitting the earth. Do we think of an asteroid striking the earth? Oh, still the asteroid hitting the earth. Oh, still the asteroid hitting the earth. Or a super volcano going off. Oh, 几年前那个二零一二那部电影哦，还拍得很逼真哦。A couple of years ago, the、um, movie 2012、uh, was quite stunning. Oh, 那个哦，描写说加州这个呃超级火山爆发哈、哦，所以整个加州的这个断层哦，呃，这个这个天崩地裂。啊、uh, ，it Uh, talked about、uh, great earthquakes in California and also the super volcano going off. Oh, ah, that 到现在大家还是在恐惧当中哦，因为，呃，这个几十年一个周期的哈，这个大地震哈，啊，这个时间也差不多了。And people are in fear, waiting for the great earthquake that comes every once in a while. Oh, 那最近哦，好像世界各地哦，都有这种地震呐，哦，什么火山爆发哈。And recently, all over the world, there seems to be volcanoes and earthquakes going off. Oh, 那或许有人会觉得说，啊，末日大概就是这样。Some people might think so. The end of the world must be like this. 啊，但是随着最近这个气候异常啊，让我们想到另外一部电影叫做《明天之后》。But then the strange weather that's been occurring recently also makes us think of another movie, The Day After Tomorrow. Oh. 描写这个气候异常，哦，整个，呃，这个地球的哦，一些北极地的哈、哦，这个这个，呃，地方啊，哦，进到冰河时期。Which describes strange weather patterns that turn the、um, northern part of the Earth into another ice age. 哦，所以有人可能想到世界末日就是那样子。So some people might think the end of the world might be like that. Oh, this the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think the whole world will be frozen. Oh, that some people think 越来越变种啊，突变哦，啊，啊，已经超乎人类能够掌控的范围。Because the illnesses that are present are innumerable and we're not able to keep track of. 哦，不是只有这个禽流感啊，有猪流感哦，说，哦。Not only are we experiencing、uh, avian flu, but also、um, a swine flu. 哦，这个全世界各地啊都有这个。疫情哈，也有很多人死于这个疾病里头。And there are many pandemics occurring throughout the world. 哦，所以每个人或许我们对世界末日的直觉印象都不同。So many of us have a different idea of what the end of the world will be like. 但是同样的哈，我们都会想说，那我们应该要怎么面对 ？But it makes us all think. 
uh, how can we prepare to uh, face the end of the world? This fascination with the end of the world is not just with us, but the disciples of our Lord Jesus also pondered it. So in Matthew chapter 24, someone went up and asked Jesus. And asked him what the signs of the times and the end of the age will be. And Jesus told his disciples. That there will be a lot of chaos um, regarding religion. And there will be wars and many disasters. And these are the beginning of the sorrows. Uh, but other than these signs of the end times, he also told them. Oh, he also told them in chapter 25 of Matthew three parables. Oh, 就是这个, uh, the parable of the wise and foolish virgins. Oh, 还有这个, uh, uh, the parable of the talents. Oh, 还有这个, and the parable of the sheep and goats. Oh, it's as if Lord Jesus was trying to tell us the attitude that we should um, face the end of uh, times with. The first uh, parable of the virgins. The reason that Lord Jesus told this parable of the virgins is stated in verse 13. Which tells us that we don't know when our Lord Jesus will come again. Uh, we just know that these things will occur, but we don't know exactly at what time. And since we don't know when, then what should we do? From the parable of the ten virgins, uh, Lord Jesus tells us to be prepared and to be vigilant. While we're busy with our lives and with our work, we oftentimes um, forget that our lives are limited in span. Oh, and there is a time for us all to return home. Oh, Regardless of how happy you are living, oh, there is a time at which it ends. Oh, 无论你的这个人生的旅途, oh, 是五星级的, oh, 或者是只是两颗星的, oh. Regardless of whether you leave a five-star quality lifestyle or a two-star quality lifestyle, it'll uh, end. Uh, there will be a time that it ends. Uh, there will be a time to return home. Uh, uh, so we always must have this uh, awareness and fear of the end of uh, days. So that we do not forget that there is a time that we must return home. So 
so that through our view of eternity we can adjust how we live. 哦，帮助我们不至于呀、啊、过度的投入哦患得患失。哦，就是啊，一哦这个为了得失哈哦,哦在那边呢、啊、难过哈。啊、哦 uh, ，so that we are not overly concerned with um。Uh, our losses in our lives. Oh, this, uh, this warning, oh, for the coming of the Lord, for the, uh, life will end when the end of the world. This is every Christian must do. So, this uh, vigilance regarding the end times and this vigilance to live a uh, Christian life is something awareness that we all must have. Oh, it will help us to pursue our spiritual life. 能够有一个先后的次序。And it will help us to prioritize things within our lives. 哦，什么是重要的？什么是次要？什么是不可缺少的？什么是可以取舍的 ？So that we know what is more important and less important, and what we can go without, and what we cannot、uh, lack. 好，这是主耶稣告诉我们第一个哦，面对末日，面对他会再来哦，这个神的。这个日子临到，应当有的第一个态度。And so this is the first attitude that Lord Jesus teaches us that we should have when facing the end times. 好，那第二个啊，主耶稣啊，借着这个分银子的比喻哈、哦，来告诉我们。The second is、uh, told through the parable of the talents. 好，当我们警醒预备主的再来的同时啊，并不是什么都不做。Which tells us that while we are being vigilant for the coming of the Lord, it's not that we don't do anything. Oh, 每天呢、啊、在那边穷紧张啊，末日到了啊，末日到了啊，怎么办啊，怎么办哦、啊、？We are not simply、um, fretting every day that oh the end is come, the end is coming, or the end is near. Oh, 不是这样子哦，也不是叫我们爬到楼顶上去看耶稣什么时候到啊，还很远，还很远，你也看不到。And it's not to teach us to go on to our roofs. To see the Lord coming from afar. Oh, 那在等候，哦，在警醒的同时啊。But rather, while we are waiting and being vigilant. Oh, Jesus 要我们要服侍。It is then that Lord Jesus wants us to serve. Oh, 借着我们的神所托付给我们的恩赐，哦，我们的一切来服侍神。Through the talents and all that the Lord has given us, we must serve the Lord. Oh, 来为主做工啊 ！To work for the Lord. Oh, 呃，那不是一种消极的，而是积极的。哦，不是这个啊 ，negative 是 positive 啊。So working not in a negative direction, but a positive one. 那我们通常谈到中心哈，我们的刻板印象就是，老板叫我做什么我就做，就做什么。没有叫我做什么，我就不做什么啊！这个叫做忠心啊。When we think about the word loyalty, we oftentimes think of doing only what our boss tells us to do, and not what our boss doesn't tell us to do. 哦，但是我们从这个哦分银子的比喻看到啊。But from the parable of the talents, we can see. 什么是忠心 ？What is being loyal? 忠心就是你运用你一切的资源来达到哦这个啊神的托付。那个就叫中心了。It's to use all your resources to、uh, do the commandments of God. 哦，排除所有的困难。呃、uh, ，in spite of all difficulties. 哦，用尽我们所有的智慧、哦恩赐、资源等等。To use all our talents, wisdom, and resources. 哦，这个才叫中心了。And this is called being loyal. 哦，所以中心呢，不是我们所想的那么刻板。And so,、uh, being faithful and loyal is not as、uh, stagnant. Oh, 那我们想想看，今天我有忠心吗 ？So, are we、uh, loyal and faithful nowadays? 我有尽力在过日子吗 ？Are we doing our best to live our lives? 哦，还是我过的这个，呃，这个哈、哦，啊，好像行尸走肉哦，啊，过的这个，呃，可有可无。Or are we? Living like zombies, carrying out our motions、uh, without much a difference being made. 哦，对周围任何的啊这个事情啊啊没有兴趣 
and being indifferent to uh, the things that are going on around us. And not being able to uh, see the value of our lives. And unable to uh, feel the blessings given by God. If that is the case, then perhaps we are not being diligent in living. Let's think how long has it been since we've been moved. Oh, Frozen. Recently, Disney had a popular movie called Frozen. Perhaps some of you have seen it. It speaks of two sister princesses with the ability to control the weather. But once one of the um, sisters accidentally harmed the other sister, she locked herself away. She thought it would be safest for her to be locked away. To be kept away from the general population. Oh, so that she would not harm others and would not be harmed. Oh, and would have everything. Oh. In our lives, we're often hurt by others, and we try to preserve our egos. So we're unwilling to open the door to our heart. To love others and to be loved. Because that requires change. And that allows other people to see our weaknesses. Because I want to preserve the perfect me. So the best way is to close off myself from everyone else. Whatever I want to do, I will do. But this isn't correct. Later in the movie, the uh, other sister, in order to break through into her sister's heart, uh, did some stuff. Only love can melt the ice. I don't know if Lord Jesus' uh, love has melted our hearts. Oh, so that we can feel the how good God is. Oh, so that we can have mercy towards other people. Oh, and not living only for ourselves. Oh, so, so that we don't have the burden of maintaining just our perfect selves. Oh, and this is actually very uh, painful. Oh, so, uh, so the Lord Jesus told the parable of the talents. The servant with the two talents and the five talents use all their resources to complete the commission of their master. And so they were called uh, loyal and faithful servants. And as a result, they entered into the joy of their Lord and was um, given more responsibilities. 
but it was different with the servant that only had one talent. Oh, he buried his talent because he was afraid of uh, punishment from his master. Oh, he wanted to maintain and protect his own self and what he had. And closed himself off. And did nothing. But this was the great mistake. And he was rebuked as being a wicked and lazy servant. And even the one talent he had was taken away from him. Oh, so as we are diligently waiting for the Lord's coming, oh, we must also be like uh, in the parable of the talents. Using all that the Lord has given us to complete His commission. Oh, so, what is it to serve the Lord? Oh, is it asking the Lord in prayer, what would you like to eat, and then cooking something for the Lord? Or is it wanting to buy something for the Lord? It's not. We all want to serve the Lord. But how do we serve the Lord? So that is what God tells us in the third parable of the sheep and goats. That while being diligently waiting and also serving the Lord, how we can serve the Lord. Here it tells us the parable of um, the sheep and the goats. Uh, regardless of whether we're talking about sheep or goats, they don't know when they are um, being with the king or not. If they knew that um, who the king was, um, I don't I don't think only the sheep would be able to tell I don't think it's just only the sheep that's able to tell who's feeding them and clothing them but also the goats would probably oh, especially if they knew that who was the king oh, but it's because they don't know who oh, that you're able to see their value oh, 原来啊, 在等候主的再来, 哦, 在 uh, while waiting for the Lord to come, oh, uh, we must be diligent and we must uh, serve the Lord in order to prepare for the Lord's coming. And this serving the Lord comes in the form of caring for those around us. Oh, oh, and then it will be considered counted as being done towards the Lord. Just as the king 
will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. And inasmuch as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. So the service that we give to the Lord is the service that we give to our fellow brothers and sisters. So the Lord using these three parables have told his disciples as well as us how to face the coming of the Lord and the end of the world. To be vigilant, to serve, and to love one another. May the Lord help us. So that we can be prepared before the great day of the Lord. Now let us come and pray. Those who would like to receive the laying of hands may come up front. Let us kneel down and pray in one accord.